Hello, this is Diogenes Lamp with a quick video. This is my CPU and CDI video. Okay, so let's take a look. You got the back of the car here. You open the lid. And in the back here, over in the corner, this right here is your CDI. Okay, that's your electronic ignition. Okay, you can, you can see it a little bit better. It looks like it's got the grates on there. Anyway, let me tell you a little bit about that. That part has to be taken out and rebuilt. You can't use a 40-year-old CDI, and I'll tell you real quickly why. It has these parts in there that are called capacitors. Capacitors are used in a lot of electronics like radios and things of that nature, but when they get to be 40 years old, they're not exactly, they're not a battery, but they're, they kind of work sort of like a battery, um, and they have like electrolyte kind of like a battery, and when they fail, they they fail in, in similar fashion like a battery. They'll either leak, which they actually leak fluid out of them, and it leaks onto your circuit board and ruins the, the, the circuit board, which uh, you know starts makes the circuit board rot and be could possibly unusable. Or they just they short out and blow up other things in the in the in the circuit, or they just go open and they don't do anything at all, or actually they could still damage some things. But the bottom line is this piece has at least two capacitors that that go bad that can go bad possibly more in mine there were two bad capacitors i sent it out to a gentleman named ashlock tech in california he did a very nice job i also spent a little extra to have a uh rev limiter put on the engine so that it's built inside you can't see it it uh, gives it a, a rev limit of 65 to 6600 rpm so not that i'm going to be driving it and running at that high but if uh i take it to service and some some uh Hillbilly gets in there and, 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 and revs it up too high. It, it protects the engine. The second one, if you come around here, that was it. That was the CDI. This is the CPU under here. See this little box right here? Okay, now that, from what I've learned, from a gentleman named Lauren, that's under your passenger seat. Lauren, uh, he's, you, you could find him on Pelican Parts uh, forums. Uh, he also rebuilds both of these parts, but he told me that the part that's under the seat doesn't have any capacitors. And uh, so what I did is not not because I didn't believe, but I just wanted to see the condition of the circuit board and stuff. Because another thing is sometimes the, the if you look at if you ever saw a transistor radio on the inside on the one side on the bottom of the circuit board, the opposite of where the uh, components are. They're called traces, those things. And sometimes those traces, when they get old from heat, expansion, contraction, they crack, and then the components don't make a connection. They make an intermittent connection, so they have to be resoldered. So I opened that box up, took a look at it. Sure enough, there were no, if there were capacitors, they were ceramic capacitors. Those aren't the ones that go bad. It's usually the electrolytic ones. Like they're, they're like round, like little round drums. Those are the ones that go bad and have to be replaced usually disc capacitors, which look like little discs that are that are like like a tan brown in color. They don't go bad either, the, the electrolytic ones. So there, there were no electrolytics in the one that's underneath the seat. So I looked through it, it looked very nice. I just cleaned the terminals with some really good quality uh, contact cleaner, put it back in. And, and Lauren said nine times out of 10, you'll never have any trouble with that. And besides that doesn't, only thing it really controls the, the part that's under the seat, it controls the, the idle a little bit. And it also controls, uh, you know, where the oxygen sensor and, and, you know, and that type of thing, which is not that prevalent, not widely, you know, it doesn't do too much on a car that's this old in 1980. Uh, but the other, the other part, this piece over here, if that goes south, you're, you're stuck on the side of the road. So if you have a early 80s or even 80s 911 SC, you better take that out. It's three, three, uh, it uses three Allen bolts, to Allen head uh, type bolts to take it out and it just unplugs. Very simple. This has a, some have three, but this is a six prong plug. I also sprayed that contact cleaner in the, in the plug on bolts, you know, on the plug itself and then blew it out with air uh, to clean that really good before I put that back in. But now I should be set. And I got to tell you, the car actually runs with more power because I think I'm getting a better spark now that the, the capacitor, that's one of one of the capacitors actually make the spark and it's a lot stronger. So the car runs stronger. I can feel the difference when it accelerates. So it's a definite recommend. And anyway, that's it. So uh, you have the chat from Diogenes Lamp. Uh, subscribe, comment. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I will cruise off into the sunset uh, with my new... Uh, rebuilt 
uh, CDI and uh, my checked out CPU. Thanks so much for watching. Good night.